In this video I'm going to talk about our web HTTP web service. To find out more about this, just click on the link at the bottom, more information, and that will take you to the page we're seeing now, or on the previous menu underneath the HTTP web service section. Firstly, the advantages of this web service is that it's platform and language independent, which means that your program only need form a URL and request the data from it. The data is returned in XML format which can then be read and displayed and used. Of course the data on our web server is always up to date and therefore you have no administration costs regarding data. So let's see the HTTP web service in action. I'm going to show you an example program which is available as part of the downloads which I've already downloaded. Here I am in the program example directory which I've extracted from the download and in here you see there's an example here called HTTP example. When you first run this you'll find there's no data key in here and of course you need to add a data key in here which gives you access to our data. To do this you need to open an account with us which you can do from the top right hand corner of the Simply Postcode website. Having opened an account you'll get an email containing two data keys. One begins with W, the other begins with I. The W data key should be used for web access, and by web access I mean public web access. So this is Joe Bloggs buying a product or requesting information or service from your own website. If an employee of your company is using the data, then they must be using the data key beginning with I. The I stands for internal data, and therefore we have to charge per user. So we've entered the data key, now let's see the program in action. So here I have a postcode here, and I'm just going to get the thoroughfare address for that postcode. So you can see here now the example program has just called a URL to extract some information. So that's the address information returned. Let's press OK. But of course they didn't actually show us the request or the XML data returned, so let's just tick this box here which will demonstrate everything. Now let's do the same call again. First of all, the demo program has actually shown us the URL it formed and called to retrieve the XML data. A detailed explanation of this web service is available from the more information link at the bottom of the screen. But you can see here we're basically passing the data key and the target postcode. Let's see this being done in a web browser. I'm just going to go to Notepad and I'm going to go edit paste because the example program has put that URL on the clipboard for this example. So let's copy that to the clipboard and let's go to a web browser a completely empty page, just paste that address into the address bar and you'll now see the XML data returned from our web server. I'll just go back to the example program and press OK and you'll see then that that will then show you the raw XML data that we can see in the web browser being returned. So I'll press OK and there's the example program after parsing the XML data. So you can see there that any program that can call a URL and extract the information or either parse the XML or just process it purely as text can access address information. Of course, in this demonstration, I've just shown you thoroughfare address, but of course, the HTTP web service can access full address and post zone data too.